All right, you two, what's going on? Sal Bay Guru back on the Man 15 Ultimate Team. Got a lineup update and a Super Bowl gameplay coming up. So it's going to do it all in one. Uh, as you see, I got a new quarterback, Football Outsiders 95 overall, Aaron Rodgers. Still got mystery CJ2K. Receivers are still the same. Made some new changes on defense, though. Got a 95 Rob Woodson, bought him off the block. Pulled the, uh, that's actually a 98 for any, but I'm running 3-4 right now. So I got him and Watt on the ends, and I bought a Team of the Year Doomerville. So that's pretty much all I've done on my, um, as far as my offense and defense is concerned. Now I'm going to have a Super Bowl gameplay coming up. Enjoy. Peace. All right, you two, what is going on? It's the Outback Guru back on the Madden 15 Ultimate Team Super Bowl gameplay on your screen right now. I finally made it back to the Super Bowl. So, as you see, I got the vintage Falcons uniform. I am on defense first. My opponent has mystery CJ2K, who is a handful. As you see, he's spinning, making my defense look silly for the first down run. So he goes back to CJ2K as we stuff him. Flashback Dwight Freeney and Clay Matthews on the stop. Third and nine coming up. Has all day in the pocket. Hits his tight end. Looks like maybe Heath Miller. I'm not too sure. Next play. He goes. He has him. Uh, CJ2K uh, on the wide receiver screen. So he pretty much dipped and dunked his way down the field. He, chewed, he had two clock on. As you see, we're already in the second quarter. Didn't feel like showing all those plays. Dwight Freeney comes in for the sack. Forces him to take his points. So we now offense. I bring my CJ2K out now. Gain of one on his first carry. This time we go back to him again. Spin move. Downfield. Julio Jones gets a block. But that is look like free safety. Um, Megatron chases him down. Knocks him out of bounds at the 31. So first and 10 after the long run. Aaron Rodgers hits Alshon Jeffrey over the middle for a first down. So. First and 10 after that. CJ2K was tired. We give it to McFadden who he gets leveled. I thought my opponent was going to go out of bounds, but he managed to stay in bounds. And this is not looking good for the squads right here. As you see, he's going to rub it in as he's going to run from sideline to sideline as he finally goes into the end zone. I'm now in a 10-point hole. 48 seconds remaining in first half of play. So, I got to get some going. I look for Alshon Jeffrey. I had it completed, but his defender did a great, made a great play on the ball. So third and ten hits Calvin Johnson. We're gonna call him Baby Calvin Johnson. That is the team of the week one. As you know, they got the ultimate one out. So we're gonna call him Baby Megatron for now. So after the huge game, going up top to Greg Olson, who holds on as he goes all the way down to the three. So we're right in scoring position. 27 seconds, we're going to hand it to CJ2K. Punches it in for six as we're now down three. Following possession, flashback Dwight Freeney with the strip. And Alden Smith recovers as I got 12 seconds near midfield to make something happen. So, I'm taking one shot. We're going to Baby Megatron who goes up in single coverage. Hauls in the touchdown pass, and just like that, we're back up 14-10 as we were down. We were down uh, in a 10-0 hole as I seen Eric Berry screaming on the blitz to end the half. So we got momentum. This time I'm going back to Chris Johnson. Look like I had blocks. Gets brought down. I'm telling you, that CJ2K mystery is that's one nice card. If he gets um he gets one block and a missed tackle, he's pretty much off to the races 90% of the time. But he takes a loss right there, a huge loss, a six-yard loss. So we got second and 16. Aaron Rodgers drops back to pass. Going up top to Baby Megatron again. He is feasting on these corners on my opponent's secondary. We're all the way down to the 20. Aaron Rodgers rolls out, hits Julio Jones. Gets a nice little eight, nine yard gain right there. So that'll bring up third and two. Time winding down. As you see, CJ2K almost gets in, but he gets level, but he holds on. So, first and goal, Rogers stuffed as he tries to go in for the quarterback sneak. 
So I need this touchdown to go up 21-10. Thought about changing my play, but I'm going to go to the quarterback sneak again. Rodgers punches it in this time, so I'm now up 21-10. My opponent comes out with his CJ2K. He gets a lane as Steve Atwater brings him down. Nice open field tackle. So he goes back to the screen. He, If he would have got that last block by his tight end, he might have had something there. So his quarterback is, it may be the all-rookie David Carr, who's 6-for-6 six six so far. He goes no huddle this time. As he hits Mike Evans, as he looked like he found a soft spot in my zone right here. So here we go again. First and ten, he's driving. Same exact play. Hits Demarius Thomas, so he has indeed found that soft spot in my zone coverage. Second and goal, nine seconds remaining in the third quarter. Chris Johnson stuffed. So that'll end the third quarter, but he's going to go back to CJ2K on a critical fourth and goal who dives over the pile, and he's going for two this time. Carr drops back. Freeney with the nice block shed brings him down, and he does not get the two-pointer as we're still up 5, 21-16. And what a connection this has been. Rodgers to baby Megatron. Nice combination here. This time we go uh, zone read. And it off to CJ2K. Gets a nice chunk of yardage. So second and four. I had something. I had circle open, but he sent a nice blitz. So critical third down, third and four. Got three minutes remaining in the ball game. Turns and hand it to McFadden. As he gets a nice yard. He gets a huge game. A huge game. Kind of got uh, tongue tied there. Didn't know what I want to say as he made, makes up for his fumble earlier in the game. So I go back to CJ2K who gets stuffed. Second and 12. Rodgers goes play action. Has nowhere to go as he gets sacked by Rob Ninkovich. So a third and long. I pretty much just need to. I'll take three. But then so that way I'll be up eight. But look at Aaron Rodgers. He took a bad angle. I had one more man to beat. But it was the free safety Megatron. It was third and 25. I got 24 there with Rodgers on the ground. So I take my three. So if he scores, he needs to go for two to tie it up. And who burns me? CJ2K as he goes on the strong power to the left. Gets brought down, but it doesn't matter. He's in the end zone, so now he's going to go for two to tie this ball game. Tell you that CJ2K is deadly. As Eric Berry was in perfect position. So it's all about clock management now. I'm up two with a minute 39. I go draw to Johnson. Break a tackle. But brought down in the backfield. My opponent burns his first time out. So, second and 11. Quick pass out. Jean Jeffrey gets out of bounds. Looked like that should have been unnecessary roughness. But I didn't get the flag. So, third and five. Rogers back to pass again. I see how Sean Jeffrey open. Looks like that might have been game over. But I had to punt. And I go back on defense, and look who it is, CJ2K. Patrick Peterson loves him, and this looks like it's going to be the game. So he's definitely going to run out the clock, as you see. But he turns and hands it, and crack. What a huge hit stick by the frozen Clay Matthews. Is that going to clinch it? We're going to kneel it out from here. My opponent should have went ahead and took the field goal. I could not believe he ran the ball. I would have just kept kneeling it out. And that is pretty much going to clinch it, folks, as we win the Super Bowl 24-22. So the Lombardi Trophy is coming back. Well, not coming, but it's actually going back to Atlanta for the first time. But nonetheless, you see the two legendary coaches are going to meet at middle field in Lombardi and Flores. So what a Super Bowl that was. A lot of big plays. So this is Alvac Groove signing out. See you guys in the next episode. Peace. And they're enjoying a, a moment that they will remember in 50 years.